Father, bless the offering, God, of glad tidings tonight. Yes, yes. Lord, these are your, your children, and God, we're giving back to you what you blessed us with yes, this Father. week. And God, we pray that you take it and put it in the storehouse, that the storehouse may be full in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Give me a G chord. Well, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. When He healed my body, He touched my mind. He saved me. It was just in time. Oh, my God, the praise He made. With my power and stars in my stand I fall to praise Him Look what the Lord has done Well, I do look what the Lord has done Come on! I say look what the Lord has done Well, He healed my body He touched my heart I'm going to praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. Come on, go and do it again. Well, I say, look what the Lord has done. Well, look what the Lord has done. Well, look what the Lord has done. Well, He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me. It was just in time. I want to praise His name. His fire is always the same. I'm going to praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. Can you stand for the one more time? Oh, I say, look what the Lord has done. Oh, look what the Lord has done. He touched my mind. He saved me. It was just in time. Oh, I'm going to praise His name. Come on. His power is always the same. I'm going to praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. direction. We're going this direction tonight. So we took to Katie for her song. She ready to sing for us. You know, when we had our babies as women, we always wanted to be sure to pick out a, a special name. Well, uh, when uh, the angel notified Mary that uh, you're going to uh, uh, have a baby and you're going to call his name Jesus yeah. and that is a, a lovely name and whenever we need anything and we yeah. just keep calling on Jesus that is such a special name a lovely Amen. name Amen.
watching. She had been in a fruit store and had her hair piled up. I just thought Vesta was over her saying. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, Sister Raven, you got the song? I had this song um, in my head since I woke up, so uh, I feel like God wants me to sing it, and uh, it's on page 164. I just want to say God is so good. Um, I was not feeling very well when I first got here, and uh, you know, sometimes it just takes, you know, not only prayer, but you, you have to rebuke the devil sometimes. Come on. And uh, as I was praising, I was rebuking Satan, you know, you know, uh, telling him that what he was saying is not true. You know, Jesus said that by my stripes I am healed. And so sometimes you just got to know the word and uh, be able to, to read the word to, you know, the devil so he knows that he cannot cross that bloodline so so you guys just keep the faith you know um it, i know it takes a lot of strength to pray and it also takes a whole lot of strength to rebuke satan so just be able to to have that anyway so we're gonna sing 164. The world were real with gold, and with silver and with gold, and you had to get along with me, good fellow. Just remember in his word how he feeds the little bird. Take a bird and serve the Lord and we with them. We with them. We with them. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust him, never shall. He will never bring you out. Make your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If your body suffers pain and your health you can't regain, and your soul is almost sinking in despair, Jesus knows the pain you feel, He can save and He can heal. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. When your enemies assail and your heart begins to fail, don't forget the God in heaven answers prayer. He will make a way for you and will lead you safely through. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. When your youthful days are gone and old age is killing on, and your body bends beneath the weight of care. He will never leave you then. He'll go with you to the end. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust in. Doubt, he will surely bring you 
now. Take your burdens to the Lord and He will pay. If the world burn you with gold or the silver and its gold, and you had to get along with me, go Just remember in His word how He feeds the little bird. Take your burdens to the Lord and He will pay. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. So everyone sing verse 2 with us. If you trust and if your body suffers pain and your health you can't regain And your soul is almost weeping in despair Jesus knows the pain you feel, we can say that he can heal Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there Leave it there, leave it there Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Amen. Y'all said it right, but some people bring their burdens down and they pick them up and carry them right back with them. Yeah, you got to leave me. Sister Cherry, you feel like singing tonight? I'm coming. <laughs> I want to thank you, Sister Tammy, for your help. Yeah. I appreciate Jesus tonight. I'm just so happy we got this full house. Yeah. James was counting. Well, James wasn't. I'm bad with that. I go, okay, I'm afraid they're not going to be there, and they're not going to be. We might not have but eight people. And James said, no, Mom. <laughs> so you don't know. And I'm so glad George came tonight. I told him, I said, I said, George, if you hadn't come, you wouldn't have got to hear me sing. <laughs> so I'm so glad. And I, I was just thinking about William. He's standing up there. And, and I, the other night, I told him this after it was over. I said, yeah, I was sitting there praying when the pastor was over there. And they were going to pray for him. And I thought, somebody needs to just go down and touch his feet. Because he sets up at night, and that's not God's will for Come him on. to lose sleep. He wants to pray for me. He wants to pray for you. That's one thing. But if he has to set up at night and rub his feet and legs, that's not God's will. And, and I was sitting there, and just about, I said, but I can't get up there. And so in a little while, William just started waiting, moved his way up here, got right down on his knees, and laid his hands on Pastor yes, and prayed for his feet. Yes, and I did. said, Oh, William, you did exactly what was in my heart, and I wasn't Amen. able to get there, but you were. And I said, that's what you call just obeying God when somebody needs to do something. You don't ever know. No. You never know what the, the right. key to somebody's healing is. It right. could just be Sister Grandma touching yep. and praying for somebody. Yep. It could be Ruthie or Donnie. Listen. He don't care who our name is. That's right. He just yeah. uses people. Right. And I love that. And I'm just so thankful that we got people like William and them are growing up in God, and I'm seeing more out of them all the time that tells me, guess what? I'm going to be something for God in glad tidings. And, and I thought about Sister Tammy. She just coming along so good, and I tell her all the time, you don't get here, I miss you. Oh, I want her to know that. Yeah. And she, as soon as I got here and she was over there, she said, guess what? 
got a, I got a call from Mercy. And the, you know the appointment they said they couldn't even get me? They couldn't even get me in? They called me today and said, you got an appointment. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's what happens when God takes care of it. Amen. We can't. We're, we're always one of these people trying to take care of everything for God. But listen, God knows how to do it, Tammy. Yes, He'll yes. show up. Yes. I want her to know this as a young Christian, that God will show up whenever she asks him for something. Amen. He don't yes. fail us. He does not. I'm so thankful for that. And I got to thinking just the other day, Katie and uh, Renee had done a thing on Mother's Day and, and on about the different ones in our church and, and it was such a good thing on she does almost everyone in this church and Beverly I don't think was here that night but uh, I thought about the mothers and Katie mentioned Mary tonight but then I thought of she mentioned to me one of the greatest mothers in the Bible and that was Hannah and the reason why I loved Hannah so much is she did what I couldn't have done. When God spoke to her after she supplicated against, please give me a baby because all the people and all the ones that are around, they make fun of me because I can't have a child. And she said, hey, I need this child in my life. But then Jesus said, or God said, you're going to have this baby. And she had it. But then she was said, you, she said this, I will take my son as soon as he is weaned. That, that's a baby. But as soon as he's weaned, I'm taking him up to Eli for him to stay in the tabernacle. That's right. Little bitty, two or three year old, little baby, she got him up and held him by his hand and she walked him into that temple and said, here's my son who God has given me and I've given him to this temple and do you know she left him with a blind priest that couldn't even hardly do nothing. She left him with two ungodly sons that weren't doing right and she said, I don't care. I will trust you with my son. Amen. I could not have gave my son away. I couldn't have given James away, believe it or not. <laughs> I would have had to have him. But there she was, Hannah, saying, here he is. And there he was in that temple. Praise the Lord. And you think about Samuel. Oh, I think of him ever so often that all during his life, he followed the will of God. Yes. Why? Because his mother said, she is going to give him up. And he's going to be a great man for God. Oh, how wonderful to be a mother like that. How wonderful to have that kind of love. And I always loved the very last of what Samuel was said about. He said there was no man when he passed away. No man that had any awe against him. Not one person stood up and said, I got something that happened with me with Daniel. No, there wasn't anyone. That's right. What a great man of God. I love that I know I talk too much, but you know what? As Renee said, I love to talk. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, Katie, we're going to sing. The blood will never lose its power. Can I say tonight? He's not going to lose it. Amen. That blood is going to be yeah. for us, yeah. applying to us. Yeah. And I thought when Pastor was going through some of these things with him lately, but the thing that came to me was exactly what Raven said tonight. Every morning, we have got to get up yeah. and call Pastor's name. Yeah. Because, why? Because we have got to stand in the gap yeah. for somebody who is going to do the work and I have said this before. He ain't going nowhere. I know the devil gets mad when I say that. But he's not going nowhere. Because glad tidings will hold on until God changes and heals him completely. I believe it tonight. It's not going to be him struggling. But one of these days soon, he will say in this pulpit, Look what God has done for me. The blood of Jesus for you and me way back on Calvary. It's so 
in heaven, you will see me face to face in all of my glory. You want to say or be flat? Let's try C. This is for Miss B and Grandma Joel.
down and stroll over to heaven. All right, Sister Pam, and then James, and then Robert. And then we'll be done with the trio. After the trio. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday! 
streets ago. Hallelujah. We won't see those crippled anymore. Amen. Nobody's stumbling around. Amen. But she's sure footed and amen. I'm sure she's running everywhere. Praise God. And I, I just thank God for his blessings. Well, I don't know how this song will go. We hadn't sang it in a long time. What key were you just playing in? B flat? C. C. B flat's lower, right? Uh -huh. I think this is in B flat. Okay. Uh, oh, no. It's written on my music. <laughs> what is G sharp? Regular D. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. This is a song that I tried the first time we had the uh, singing night, and I brought it from my old Methodist church. And uh, it goes to something like this Are you able? said the master. Yeah. Want me to start it? Are you able? said. Not so fast. Okay. Goes a little slow. Okay, start it again. Are ye able, said the master, to be crucified with me? I think I'm a little low. I think you're in the right key, but I'm a little, a little low. No, no, no. I need to be up. Okay. C, all right. We'll get it right. Are ye able, said the master, to be crucified with me? Yea, the sturdy dreamer's answer to the death will follow thee. Lord, we are able, our spirits are thine. Remold them, make us like the divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall. Radiance 
above us shall be a beacon to God, to love and loyalty. Are ye able when the anguish racks your mind and heart with pain? To forgive the souls who wrong you, who would make your striving vain. Lord, we are able, our spirits are thine. Remold and make us thine.
me you too. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. The promises of God, standing on the promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing on the promises, standing on the promises, I am standing on the promises of God. Promises that cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing on the promises.